it's Holly with Ivy Cole Creations and today we are working on day 14 sketch created by Darla Weber for Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches series 11 and so I had fun with this and I just ran with the Halloween theme that was happening um, that day I think I did four Halloween layouts all at once <laughs> I'm like, my stuff is out, I might as well do it. So I went through and I pulled these circles, or I created these circles using my spin and cut. Um, we are memory keepers. It's not the best, but it gets me concentric circles, which is what I like. And I had these frames and this little tag hanging around, and I wanted to create a shaker pocket because I was working on Rediscover Your Stash challenges and there was one for one called Spread Your Spread the Shine or Spread the Sparkle or something like that. Anyway, I was thinking of that while I was making this and uh, obviously I didn't post for that um, because it was the 14 days of sketches and I didn't want to release the sketch before it was supposed to come out so I kind of missed the boat on that one but that's okay I still like the way that this turned out it was just a lot of fun to create this little shaker pocket and I love using frames for this because it just makes everything a lot easier and so it took me a little bit to decide what I wanted to do with the other frames because I was supposed to use tags I didn't really have Halloween tags so I ended up using frames and I I love the colors like I know it's all orange but the texture of the paper and the depth of color it just makes me happy and I'm really impressed with how this one turned out I, uh, I chopped that piece in half so that I could spread it out a little bit more because it was going to be covered up anyway so I figured why not just make it a bigger or put it in a different place and spread that around not waste it because I think covering things up is a waste really that's kind of why I don't do much mixed media <laughs> because I do all that work and then 90% of the time it gets covered up um, but yes I I like the way that this one turned out and there was a huge dead space in this photo um, and I wanted to I I didn't think it would mind like it would be an issue if I covered up the uh, the dead space in the picture with this gorgeous little shaker now usually I I put the well for the sparkle down on the page and then fill it on the page and then put my layers on top because I was putting it on top of the photo I wanted to have it um, be portable and so I did it backwards put the well on the back of the frame and then put the sparkle in and then put a piece of paper on top and so you can see how much dead space was in this photo and uh, I just taped it down on top and created a little um, a little layer of foam there so that I could uh, get it on top of all those layers of paper. I added some detail in the circles because I found they were kind of fading into the background. They weren't defined nearly as much as I wanted them to be. And so I just um, followed the edges of each paper, basically, just to give everything a little bit more um, pop. I love the black. It makes it so much fun. I created this little spot below the word Halloween um, for some journaling and I eventually end up using um, my thickers to create the title Happy Halloween and this uh, came together quite nicely. I, I really like this sketch. It was a lot of fun and uh, if I've got, if I have more scrap I will probably do this one again. 
Please check out the description box below for everyone who's playing along with the 30 Days of Sketches, as well as the Artist of the Day. All of their social media will also be in the description box below. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear from you.